So with that, uh, we are gonna focus more on the current. We already talked about the charging current, right? So now you may think, okay, we can have a lot of current. We have the charging current here. And then do not forget that we are doing dynamic electrochemistry, right? Which you're gonna get the current from the redox reaction of the species. So we can categorize the current in electrochemical cells into two kinds of current. The current from the redox reaction at the electrode is called Faradaic current. The current from the charging current and other process is called non-Faradaic current. Again, the Faradaic current is the current from the electrode reaction, the redox reaction at the electrode. The non-Faradaic current is the current occurs from other process such as the charging current at the electrical double layer. And specifically, the Faraday current can be categorized further into two types because now you can make it, you can make uh, both oxidation and reduction. The current from oxidation is called anodic current and the current from the reduction is called cathodic current. This is because oxidation occurs at anode, right? So we call the current anodic current. Reduction occurs at the cathode. So that's why we call it cathodic current. You see, like that. And the name Faradaic comes from the fact that this Faradaic current is, is proportional to the electrode reaction rate, which uh, this, we're going to derive this statement later, but it is called Faradaic current because uh, this is uh, the amount of the charge or the amount of the current belongs to the Faraday's law of electrolysis, which I already put this in the review video, right? Yeah. So these are like two types of the current. The last uh, last thing before we gonna have the break is that. Uh, Overall, we talk about, let me go back uh, quickly. We talk about the pathway of electrode reaction, right? Which we, you're going to have a lot of uh, process to undergo and you have concentration polarization and activation polarization. And then you have the electrical double layer as well, which can uh, give you the charging current and just give the species to explain less magnitude of the potential. And you have two types of current so basically, what we can summarize here is that in dynamic electrochemistry technique, you have significant amount of current on, on the opposite way right, of the potentiometry, right? In, in potentiometry, you don't really need any current. You just need tiny amount of current to let the connection uh, complete. But in uh, dynamic electrochemistry, you need uh, a significant current. And this significant current I'm gonna occur, gonna generate you to gonna give you two things. The first thing we already uh, discussed here is the over potential, and sometimes we use the Greek letter eta to describe the over potential. And the next thing is that once you have the current in your cell, and you have current right, which is R, and you have your set your solution, which is gonna have some resistance, so it is R. So you have I, you have R, of course, from the Ohm's law, you have V. And this V is called IR drop or ohmic drop. And the effect of this ohmic drop and over potential is that your E cell now is going to be modified by these two terms. So E cell is going to be E cathode minus E anode, right? Or E right minus E left minus IR, which is from the ohmic drop, and minus eta from the over potential here. And the effect is that you can, uh, from this equation, you can see that you're going to get the less galvanic potential. You're going get, to get the less galvanic cell potential. And you're going to get more required applied potential for the electrolytic cell. For example, if you calculate that your reaction needs one volt, maybe, you, maybe if you apply one volt, you're not going to get anything. Maybe you're going to have to apply like 1.2 volt for the electrolytic cell. And or in your galvanic cell, if you have like one volt from the equation, maybe what is what you're gonna actually get is 0.7 or 0.8, something like that. 
So these are the effects of the redox reaction and significant amount of current on the cell potential. We already talked about the Faraday current, right? That uh, it is from the redox reaction of the electroactive species at your electrode. But I think you, you may learn that it is actually the charge, right? The charge, which is, in, which is proportional to the amount of the species. So in from the video, I put this Faraday's law of electrolysis, which is the amount of product or the consumed reactant is proportional to the electrolysis charge. But now we want to show that the Faraday current is proportional to the rate of electrode reaction. So I just want to prove you this uh, statement at, at the end of the class, which is now. So how to write this? Uh, uh, the amount, let's, so let's make the, let's make the amount of, of the product to be like N. Let's make it to be N and then, <coughs> sorry, and then the charge to be uh, here. So the amount of the product is proportional to the electrolysis charge. So you can write something like N equal to K multiplied by Q, right? Oh, you can, uh, yeah, so, so this is the amount of the product. This is the charge and here is the proportionality constant. Or you can write something like, you can move here to this, right? So basically you can have here is equal to uh, one over here and multiply by N. But it either here or one over here, I don't care. I just want it to be some constant. So I'm just gonna write it as maybe here prime N. So now we can see that the electrolysis charge is also proportional to the amount of the product. But we want the current, right? We want the current. And then from physics, maybe you know that current is dQ dt, right? Current is the rate of the charge flow. So let's do this. So we want current. So this is dQ dt. And this is going to be d by dt of this term. But k is the constant, right? So you take the constant out. And this is dn by dt. So what is dn by dt? n is the mole. Oh, if you can show, if you want to show this by the concentration, you can do this as well. So I'm going to use mole or concentration. And this is time, right? This is time. And this is, this is current. So I hope what you can see here now is that you have current here. You have this term. What is the, what is the meaning of this term? It is more over time. So more over time or concentration over time. I hope you learned from chemical kinetics that this is actually the rate of reaction. And this is again the current. So by this, you can see that we have current equal to some constant multiplied by the rate of electrochemical, the rate of reaction. So by this, I think we already complete the proof that the Faraday current is proportional to the rate of electrode reaction.